It's about four o'clock on Sunday afternoon. We had the third and final day of the dog show today. And uh, it was a very busy weekend, so I thought I would show you some highlights from Saturday and Sunday. Bootsy, I think, was feeling a little neglected because she didn't get, get to show at all, so um, I'm letting her sit on my lap here. Um, I put on some uh, old, comfortable, cool clothing because uh, here in the New York area, we just happen to be getting a bit of a preview of summer right now. We are enjoying, eh, let's make that, we are tolerating some uh, temperatures in the mid-90s. That's Fahrenheit for those of you who are sensible and use Celsius. Um, it's a smaller number in Celsius, but it's still very hot. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you some highlights from the weekend with a little narration so that you can see what happened, and then we'll wrap it all up. This was Saturday morning, and Jamba was in the ring and if you've seen any dog shows you'll know <clears throat> that the judge has to give each dog a brief physical examination with the small breeds that's done on an examination table and then they need to see how the dog moves in the ring to kind of be a manifestation of the physical characteristics that they feel and see so Jamble was moving down and back he seemed a little bit distracted by the grass and all the surroundings. He hasn't been to a lot of outdoor shows. But he is a very smooth dog. has a very nice appearance in the ring. <clears throat> and he won his class. And of course he had to be prepped to go back into the ring a little later on. And uh, there's Apple also waiting for her turn because the boys are always on before the girls. Yes, Apple, you're a good girl. And after the boys, the first girl that we had going into the ring was Bella, because she is in a puppy class, and they always have the puppy classes first. And she, of course, got her little pat down by the judge in a nice physical examination. And how could you not think that that's the cutest little thing in the world? And uh, then she moved around the ring. And I think for a little puppy who's never been in a an all-breed dog show, never been in an outdoor dog show. She showed herself very, very nicely. Next, it was Apple's turn, and she had her table examination. After that, she got to move. I just love the way she moves. She carries her head very proudly, which she's supposed to, and her tail is out straight the way it's supposed to be, or an extension of her top line, and she really has very good movement. Now, this is the competition for winner's dog, so each of the males that win, won their classes comes back in the ring and the judge will select the one that he likes the best and he's taking a very very good look at each one of them and then he has the move and this is Jamba Jamba I think was moving better today than he was on Saturday and uh, I think he had really made a very good showing and the judge Pick the uh, the one that was to the right of Jamba, which is a very very nice dog, and Jamba got reserved. And then it was the girls' turn, so the winners of all those classes came back in, and since Bella won her class, she got one more chance to strut her stuff in the ring. And I think you can see that the heat was taking its toll on her, but she did a very very nice job. And I think I'm going to let Apple narrate the rest of what happened with her. Hi, this is Apple. My daddy told me I had to narrate, but I don't know what that means. I love having that judge man put his hands all over me, gave me a nice back rub. I love that. And I'm glad my daddy put me up on the table because I could never jump up there all by myself. And then he took me up and down. This was so much fun, up and down. I don't know how many times we're going to do this, but I love doing that, even though it was hot and it was not a nice day at all. And then we had to stand real nice and there were other dogs with us and the judge man pointed to me because he liked me. And we went to stand by the number one. Then, guess what? We got to come back in again and my little cousin Bella was there with me. And I tried to turn around to see her, but then the judge man wanted to see me, so I looked at him. 
And guess what we did? The judge man told us to go round and round. So we did round and round, and I followed that other dog, and little Bella followed me, and we had a fun time. And I don't know what was going on, but we're just having so much fun going round and round. And then guess what? Up and down, we got to do up and down again. I love that. And the judge man was watching me so close, and I'm not sure why we were doing it all this many times. But we had fun with that, and the judge man made silly noises again. And then Bella had to do up and down also, and she learned from me. I think she watches me, and she tries to copy what I do. And she did a very nice job. It was so much fun being there with her. And Daddy kept waving food in front of my face so I wouldn't look at Bella. But I like to look at Bella, because she's a cutie pie. Then the judge man came back out. And it looked like he was going to pick somebody that he liked the best out of all those girls in the ring. But we had to do round and round one more time. That's so much fun. I love doing that. But then he pointed to me. And he liked me. So we got to stand by the number one again. I love standing by the number one. Daddy says that's a good thing. And so then the other dogs came back in. And there was a boy dog in there, and there was another one that looked like me, but it was an older one. And we got to go round and round again. And I, Daddy said that this was for the best of the breed. But the fun part was I got another back rub. Oh, the back rub, that feels so good. And then we got to go round and round. And I don't know why, I thought he picked me twice already. But that's okay. He picked us again. This time we stood by number two, but Daddy said that was good. So as you can see, we have quite a bit to be proud of from the weekend and from Friday. Um, Bella, of course, was her first all-breed show, and she was really just kind of getting acclimated to the whole scene. Uh, and it was a good experience for her. And she did do a very nice job of showing herself. Jamba did well uh, in the small field of competition on Friday. He had a bit more competition over the weekend, but today he took reserve winner's dog. And uh, basically that just means that he is the uh, second best of all the males in the show. But I'm very, very pleased with what I saw with Little Apple because she's not even a year old yet. And she did very, very well. Just to kind of review her accomplishments. Hey, Apple, I'm talking about you. You don't want to stay for this? I guess you want to run around the yard and chase squirrels. Okay. On Friday, she took first place in her class. She was the winner's, we use the B word in the dog world, and I don't really want to mess with community standards on YouTube, so I'm not going to say it, even though we say it all the time at dog shows. But uh, she was, let's just say, winner's B word, best of the girls. Then the best of the girls goes up against the best of the boys for what they call best of winners, silly name. And... Best of breed. Now, it was a small field, so she didn't have to defeat very many, but that gave her her first AKC point. On Saturday, yesterday, she won her class, and there was more competition, by the way. When the girls all came back in, um, she came in reserve winners, which means that there was one girl that the judge liked better than than her so today she won her class she went up against a bunch of girls bigger competition today winners B word and then at the end what you saw on the highlights there uh, the um, the winners dog the winners B word and the ones they call specials there was one of those that those are Dogs that are already established champions, and that was a girl. 
uh, all come back in the ring to determine who's best of breed and best of winners and so on. The uh, winner's dog was very nice and very deserving and he took the best of breed which automatically made him the best of winners but Apple won best of opposite sex which means that the judge uh, put her even over the special, the established champion which for a little girl her age is quite an accomplishment. So we came home with a passel of ribbons for Apple and we're very proud of her. Apple, and she's chewing on a twig. After three days of getting bathed every single morning and then suffering in the heat in the ring and walking around a million times, she deserves to just relax and spend some good time. So hope everybody enjoyed that. Um, we will have other dog shows coming up and there will of course be more videos.